Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast, special edition series where I go over every 2023 Men's College Basketball Conference Tournament. Now up is Conference USA. The tournament will be held at the Ford Center at the Star in Frisco, Texas, which is the Dallas Cowboys practice facility, amazingly enough. Um, so the tournament will begin on Wednesday, March 8th. Quarterfinals will be Thursday, March 9th. Semifinals Friday, March 10th. Championship game will be Saturday, March 11th at 7.30 p.m. Central, 8.30 p.m. Eastern on CBS Sports Network. Um, And the funny thing of how this venue works, they split it in half. And they only do that for the uh, first round and uh, quarterfinals, which is uh, pretty cool for this facility. Um, So the standings. Seedings. Uh, your one seed, Florida Atlantic. They've been the best team in this conference all year. Twenty eight and three overall. Eighteen and two in conference play. Your two seed is North Texas. Twenty five and six overall. Sixteen and four in conference play. Your three seed, UAB. Twenty three and eight overall. Fourteen and six in conference play. Your four seed is Middle Tennessee. Eighteen and thirteen overall. Eleven and nine in conference play. Your five seed is Charlotte. Eighteen and thirteen overall. Nine eleven in conference play. Your six seed is Rice. Seventeen and fourteen overall. Eight and twelve in conference play. Your seven seed is FIU. 14 and 17 overall, 8 and 12 in conference play. Your 8 seed is Western Kentucky. 16 and 15 overall, 8 and 12 in conference play. Your 9 seed is Utah. 14 and 17 overall, 7 and 13 in conference play. Your 10 seed is Louisiana Tech. 14 and 17 overall, 7 and 13 in conference play. And your 11 seed is UTSA. 10 and 21 overall, 4 and 16 in conference play. So it gets underway on March 8th on Wednesday, 5.30 p.m. Central, 6.30 p.m. Eastern. 9 seed UTEP, 8 seed Western Kentucky. Um, UTEP, um, usually a bottom feeder in this conference. Uh, two guys averaging double figures, led by Tay Hardy. Western Kentucky, um, they have a really good scorer, averaging, averaging 16 half a game. Davion McKnight, um... I project Western 4.7 total 139, so therefore I have Western advancing. Second of three first round games, 10 seed Louisiana Tech, 7 seed FIU. Uh, Louisiana Tech's usually a good team in this conference. They've fallen on some hard times this year, um, but they have an excellent score in Kobe Williams, averaging 18.8 a game. FIU. Oh, wait a minute. They did have them. But um, they he hasn't been there the entire season. Um. So um. Crawford Isaiah Crawford's been their uh, lead guy. Um. So that is kind of unfortunate that he's hurt, it looks like. Um, and FIU, um, they're led by Denver Jones averaging 20 a game. So they have some good scorers in this game. Um, I project Louisiana Tech 1.7 to 145 in the 10th. Um, we talked about that player on their team being injured in uh, Kobe Williams. He last played... On February 11th. Um, so um, maybe he'll be back for the conference tournament. That'd be nice if they had him. But I do have Louisiana Tech advancing, nevertheless. Um, last of three first round games 11 seed UTSA, 6 seed Rice. UTSA is always the bottom feeder in this conference. Four guys averaging double figures, though, led by Jafet Mador. Um, and on the other side with Rice. Um, their team in this conference that's kind of on the upswing in my mind. Um, they have an awesome score in Quincy Olivari at 19-3 a game. I project Rice by 8, total 150 and 710, so therefore I have Rice advancing. Quarterfinals, Thursday, March 9th, 8 seed Western Kentucky, 1 seed FAU. FAU has been the beasts in this conference all season long, only three losses. Um, three guys averaging double figures a game. Led by John L. Davis at 13 2 a game. I project FAU 8.8 over Western, so therefore I have 
FAU advancing. Second to fourth quarter final game, five seed Charlotte, four seed Middle Tennessee. Uh, Charlotte is a better team in this conference all of a sudden now. Um, two guys averaging double figures a game, led by Bryce Williams at 13 and a half per game. And Middle Tennessee, um, three guys averaging double figures a game, led by Eli Lawrence at 12.3. Um, I project middle, two and a half total, 134 and 310. So therefore, I have Middle Tennessee advancing. Third of four quarterfinal games on Thursday, March 9th, Tennessee, Louisiana Tech, 2C, North Texas. This North Texas team is pretty good, too. Um, three guys averaging double figures a game, led by Tyler Perry at 17 a game. I project North Texas by 12 over Louisiana Tech, so therefore I have North Texas advancing in the last of three quarterfinal games. Six seed Rice, three seed UAB. UAB is another solid team in this conference. They have the best scorer in the conference, and Jordan Walker at 23.2 points a game. I project UAB 8.7 over Rice, so therefore have UAB advancing. Semifinals, first of two games on Friday, March 10th, four seed Middle Tennessee, one seed FAU. Walker's easily the best guy on the court. Um, uh, middle has Lawrence. We talked about him. Um, Cameron Weston and DeAndre Dishman. Dishman. Um, I project FAU 9.2 over middle, so therefore I have middle advancing. Second of two semifinal games, 3C UAB, 2C North Texas. Oh, wait. Oh, my goodness. Um, Walker's on UAB. Um, I screwed that up. FAU is just better than uh, middle with um, Davis Martin, um, as in um, Elijah Martin, and the big man, Vladislav Golden. Um I have them 9.2 over Middle Tennessee, FAU, and then I have Middle advancing. And then UAB North Texas in the second game. Uh, we talked about Walker in the previous segment. I um, read the list wrong here. That's my apologies. And North Texas is a good team, too, with a, a good scorer in their own in Tyler Perry. I project North Texas only 1.5 over UAB, so therefore I have North Texas advancing in the championship game at Chalk 1 on Saturday night, March 11th. 8.30 Eastern, 7.30 Central on CBS Sports Network between North Texas and FAU. We have Perry on one side as well as um, Kai Huntsbury and Abu Asamane. And with FAU, you have um, Davis Martin and Golden. Um, I think FAU is a little bit better than North Texas, but not by much. I project FAU 1.7 over North Texas, so therefore I have FAU winning the 2023 Conference USA Tournament. And in terms of bracket placement, I expect FAU to be like in that 8-9 game, maybe the 7-10 game. I'd be surprised if they were lower than a 10, but higher than a 7. So somewhere between 7 and 10, most likely the 8-9 game, I would put FAU. Um, I do think FAU is a lock. If they were to lose in the championship game, maybe they're still in the 8-9. Um, if not the 7-10. But if they lose in the quarterfinals, I think it gets a little dicey. If they lose to, say, Western Kentucky in the quarterfinal, I think that they could be on the 11th seed, maybe the last team with the bye. Um, but this is a multi-bid league if FAU does not win the conference tournament, but or in the assumption they do. So NIT, I would say UAB and North Texas, both CBI, Middle Tennessee, Charlotte, the basketball classic, those two teams with Rice, Western Kentucky, some combination of those four teams um, will be in either the CBI or the basketball classic. Um, so, um, surprise team that can make a run in this tournament. Um, I do like UAB a lot. I think UAB is a sleeper to win. We'll get to the odds in a second. But um, I do think if uh, Williams comes back for Louisiana Tech, then they can go on a run. Um, but another team I have my eye on 
is their first round opponent, FIU, who has um a twenty per game guy in Denver Jones. So, um, I would look out for Rice as well as a possible surprise team that can make a run in this tournament to um the final four and we'd be like, What? Like how South Alabama has done in the uh in the Sun Belt in a way. Um so odds for this tournament on DraftKings um for the Sun Belt or I'm sorry for conference USA I had Sun Belt in my head because I just mentioned the South Alabama. Um, FA is the favorite, plus 150. UAB is 210. North Texas is 260. Charlotte's 14 to 1. Middle Tennessee is 18 to 1. Western is 90. UTEP's 100. Rice is 100. La Tech's 100. FAU is 150. So it's UTSA. Um, so those are the 11 teams. Um, the team with the most value, I'd say, is Louisiana Tech at 100 to 1. But that's if. Um, Williams comes back for La Tech and FIU at one fifty to one has a lot of value too, with Jones. Um, I think the big three are all priced accordingly. Maybe UAB and North Texas is a little bit overvalued, um, but definitely Western. Oh, um, at nineties are one to look at as well. But I would say any valuable ones, I'd say, and even Rice at a hundred to one is pretty valuable with um Olivari. Three teams I just said that have value here. Um UTEP and Rice at a hundred I'm sorry, um Rice and Louisiana Tech at a hundred and FIU at one fifty. So that's three teams with value to win this conference tournament. Alright, so there you have it for Conference USA. Next up, the Big East.